Good day, good day! How the honk are you? Welcome to Roverland. This is your friend Dano. Thank you for joining me today. We have got a one-off Wednesday. Look at this beauty, huh? Yeah, she's a beauty, all right. All right, what do we've got here? What do we got? You guys probably recognize this. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. Hold, hold on, little feller. Ba-bam! Oh, did I get it right? Oh, I got it right. All right, made in England by Britain's LTD. It uh, has copyright of 1975 on there. And uh, this is the 132nd scale, short wheelbase, Land Rover. Yeah, check it out. While, we're, while we've got this upside down, yeah, let's check it out upside down, all right? Let's get the lighting adjusted here a little bit. Now, these uh, key here, uh, that's for uh, packaging reasons, I think. Isn't that where they lock them into the packaging? But uh, this is the typical Britain's... Uh, yeah, heavy duty uh, frame work. Um, it does have the white part is plastic, but uh, that is all metal there in uh, in the in the base. Got a little toe hitch. Mine's a little wobbly there, but pretty pretty nice otherwise. All right, let's take a look at this side here. Got the uh, badge on it. Now this is the Britain's British. Uh, well, the, they call it the Military Land Rover, number nine, niner, seven, eight, deuce, niner, seven, eight, deuce, yeah, and a uh, very nice model, I got this off eBay, there's no way I would have uh, found anything like this on the uh, ground here in uh, Wisconsin. But uh, yeah, I got a couple of dues. Now, I'm, I am missing the radio. There is a radio that goes in there. I am missing the radio. And I'm missing uh, one uh, uh, mirror. Yeah, that's what that's called. <laughs> All right, so it has some kind of a uh, military sh uh, shield and whatever going on there. Uh, the wheels do say uh, Britain's LTD on there. That's pretty neat. Yeah, England, England on the top there. Yeah, pretty neat, pretty neat. Uh, yeah, that's a nice, not quite a bronze green, not till, not really a military green, but it is a, it is a green, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, let's uh, move around to the front now. The the headlights and the turn signals are painted, but it does have uh, stickers. And they're like um, uh, metal stickers, you would say. Metal, yeah, metallic-like stickers. They're they're chromy, and uh, license plate BTN seventy six, uh, Britons seventy six. Now they made this model uh, different, a couple of different ones. Uh, like I say, this is the um, military one. Uh, they made these models, I believe they started in 1975 and ran them all the way up till 1980, something like that. There was four other ones and on the box, on the back, they showed you all, uh, four models. There was a police model, which was Niner 61 Ott, that was the, uh, model number, and a Safari, which was Niner 5, Niner 4. And then a farm model, which was Niner 57 Uno. Yeah, one. So very cool. Uh, so yeah, they all kind of, I think the farm had a, a tilt to it. And the police had a tilt to it. The um, safari was uh, open cabin white with zebra stripes. Uh, the farm, I think, was blue with a white tilt. And the police obviously had... Uh, it was white with uh, police and uh, uh, chevron checkers down the side and everything there. So very kind of cool. So a one of Wednesday, we have this uh, Britain's military Land Rover. 
And uh, I did some checking around. I, I don't know how much I paid. I might have paid like 10 bucks for this baby because uh, she's pretty nice. Uh, got glass in there. There's a little dude in there. A metal steering wheel. Plastic otherwise. But uh, the, the dude with the gun. Look at the gun. Oh my goodness. We're going to get in trouble with YouTube. We said gun. <laughs> and... Uh, but in the box, I mean, these things run, I mean, with all the parts and pieces and, and obviously nicer shape, 40 bucks on up. And in the box, they premium price. Holy bananas. Yeah, cheese balls. We, <laughs> we, we got some really expensive stuff there. Uh, so just really kind of cool. I really liked it. Oh, I got to show you this too. Uh, Britain's is also known for their... Uh, yeah, their suspension. Boy, I tell you, this has uh, really got some nice suspension. Let's kind of see if we can zoom in a little bit more on this and kind of show you the suspension work on that. Very, very nice. Uh, they always, um, even the newer ones, uh, have uh, very good suspension. So, And that, I think, is uh, why they uh, go with such a heavy uh, undercarriage there is because it, you see in the cylindrular, cylindrular, <laughs> right here, there's a spring in there and the axle sits on there and you can see that there's a groove cut out. And so that allows that axle to go up and down and, uh, very kind of cool. I like it. I like it. It gives it a really realistic, uh, look to it. So very hardy, very hardy. Yeah, they are, they are built to last. These were uh, obviously, well, a toy from Great Britain, and uh, they had some quality. I love the tires on that. Almost uh, really reminisce back to the old original Land Rover uh, tires uh, with the knobs and the two, three treads down the middle. So very, very cool. I really like that. I, yeah, I almost forgot to show you the uh, suspension. So this is, I have other uh, Britons. And, uh, boy, we're, while we're in here, let's take a look. Now, my guy is kind of jacked up in his seat. He must have uh, got spooked or something. And look at this guy's face. Oh, man, he is, he is really angry. He's going to shoot somebody. But, uh, yeah, very, very cool. Uh, yeah, I don't, this guy, I don't think he's doing so well here. He's not looking out so well, but anyway, yeah, all right. Well, let's <laughs> zoom, zoom back out here. We're good, uh, getting seasick looking at it that close, but uh, there you go. So anyway, as I was saying, I have other uh, Britons, uh, and uh, I did a, a video on one before, and uh, we'll tag that at the end. But uh, this is the oldest one that I have, uh, I believe. No, I have one more, the 109 that has a steering wheel in the back. I think that was like one of their first ones. But uh, this is the one and only that I have of this uh, 88 wheelbase. And uh, really kind of cool. I'd like to get, uh, obviously, the police or the safari or even the, the plain uh, farm one, you know. That would be uh, awesome. And... Uh, Always keeping an eye out. Always keeping an eye out for those. But, uh, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I have to say, <laughs> in my searching, um, I was looking for more information and stuff like that. And I, I came upon a site. <laughs> and uh, they called this Britain, Britain's British Army World War II. Um... Yeah, if you if you all don't remember, um, World War II got done at uh, 1946. I believe it was in December. Uh, Land Rover wasn't uh, invented till 1948, so this can't be <laughs> this can't be a World War II vehicle because uh, they wasn't dreamt up yet. The Mars. Marcy boys uh, haven't uh, used up their Jeep that they got and uh, planned on making a Land Rover. And so, yeah, it can't be uh, World War II. I thought that was kind of humorous. I, I'm like, wait a minute. You can't, you can't have that. All right. Well, there we go, folks. I got to get you out of here. Thanks for joining me for a one-up Wednesday. Beautiful. Do you got any of these, huh? 
yeah, let me know. Uh, come on over to Facebook, Roverland, or uh, Instagram, Roverland Channel, and uh, check us out there. Make sure you ask to join the uh, group there at uh, Roverland on Facebook. And uh, as well, uh, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Yeah, make sure you subscribe, all right? All right, we're going to get out of here. Going to take a stare at this uh, driver guy, maybe. Kind of shady character, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, well, listen up, driver. Yeah, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.